I'm going to do apt-get update and apt-get upgrade dash y on the Ubuntu server that Liquid Web has freshly installed for me. Okay, I logged in as root to the production server. Let's see, apt-get update. Okay, that'll update the apt-get repository list or whatever, or packages, so that it knows what all the current packages are. Okay. So now it, it says reading package lists done. It read the package lists. Now I'm going to do an upgrade. So app get upgrade. And I'm going to use the dash Y so I don't have to keep telling it yes. Okay, so apparently some packages were upgraded. Yes, it's true. There were packages upgraded. See, after I did app get upgrade, it read the package lists. It said the following packages will be upgraded. Okay, here's a list of them. Lib apt inst all WP supplicant. So apparently when Liquid Web installed my server, they didn't upgrade it. So it was left in the state that it was in when the company that makes Ubuntu originally released it. Apparently there's a command that's very useful for trying to figure out what the network IP address configuration is for the server. So. Right, I'm logged into the server. I'm going to run this command. If config dash a. Okay. ETH0 is the network card for the server. LO is a network card for loopback. Internet address. That shows the IP address for the server on the internet. And this is its subnet mask. And apparently this is the loopback address. And this is the loopback mask. All right, that's all I know about this. This website over here has some very useful information. I might want to go read it again someday. The title of this article is Ubuntu 14 Server Installation Guide and Setup Lamp, Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. There's a command for enabling and disabling certain services or daemons for certain run levels. It used to be called check config in the old days. This day, this is what it's called. It's called sysvrcconf. Okay, I don't have it installed, so I need to install it. Okay, so I'm going to copy this and then paste it. And I've already did an apt-get update, so now all I have to do is just run this. Do you want to continue? Yes. Okay, so now it's installed. So now if I run it, it should give me some output. Okay, sysrun stop service. It's showing me that... DNS clean is running. Use the arrow keys or mouse to move around. Okay, let me go down. Okay, kill press. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff running here. This is a very useful command. As you can see, SSH is running, but it's not telling me which run level it's running on. I think when it when there's no access, it means it works for, for all the run levels. Because I know SSH is working. Alright, so how do I get out of here? Let's try Q. Okay, for quit. Alright. Okay, now I'm going to install some packages. So, okay. Alright. Apt. Get. Well, first of all, let me see if Nano is there. Nano. Okay, apparently Nano is there. Let me just get out. Control L. All right. So how about zip? Apt. Get. Install. Zip. New package will be installed. Unzip. Zip. Okay, go ahead, install it. Okay, the next pa package is, let me try unzip. I think it's going to say it's already installed. Okay, it doesn't need to install it. All right, wget, install wget. 
Apparently it's already there, so it doesn't need to. Already the newest version, okay. All right, how about curl? C-U-R-L. Curl is already the newest version, it's installed. Okay. How about man db? It's already installed. All right, how about Apache? The web server. A-P-A-C-H-E-2. Okay, yeah, go ahead, install it. All right, so it's, it installed Apache, and it started the web server. Okay, how about PHP 5? HP 5. Yes. Okay, it installed PHP 5 and restarted the server. Okay, how about PHP 5 MySQL? Dash MySQL. The following new packages will be installed. Okay. Okay, how about my SQL client? All right, the following will be installed. All right, yes. All right. How about MySQL Server? This is the last one. And this one's going to ask me to give a password for the administrative user of MySQL. So I hit Y and Enter. Okay. Recommended that you set a password for the MySQL administrative root user. If this field is left blank, the password will not be changed. Okay. I'm going to make it... The same as, no, mate, that's not a good idea. Okay, I'm going to write it down on a piece of paper, and then I'll put it in e-wallet. All right, I'm going to type it in here. Okay, repeat the password. All right, here it goes. All right, I successfully created a password. All right, so it's done installing everything in LAMP. All right, now the root directory for the web server, the web root, should be this right here, okay? So let me go to it, okay? CD, control L, control L, okay, L, L. All right, there's an index.html. Let, let's see what's in it. Mm, okay, it looks like it's the default page. So, all right. So, let me just exit here. All right, if I go to my browser, let's open up a new browser page. And let's say I go to buscompanyx.com. And there is the index page on my web server. If I take away the WW and hit enter, there it is. Okay, so it works.